Good afternoon, church. I hope you are doing well. Um, in today's midday devotion, I, I, it doesn't really come out of our Bible reading plan, but our Bible reading plan spurred this on. So uh, let me read to you Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. It says, This book of instruction must not depart from your mouth. You are to meditate on it day and night. Uh, so that you may carefully observe everything written in it. For then you will prosper and succeed in whatever you do. And what's happening right here is that Moses is ending his ministry. Uh, he's been leading the nation of Israel for many, many years. And now he is passing it on to the young buck named Joshua. And what he says to Joshua, he says, This book of the law should not depart from your mouth. And so he's saying that pretty much as I've moved on from my leadership role and you now take up that leadership role, the way that you ought to lead is with having meditated day and night regularly on the word of God. It should never depart from his mouth. I also think of uh, Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 when it says, let the word of Christ dwell richly among you in all wisdom and teaching and admonishing one another through psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Uh, that incorporates many more things than just the word, but he does say, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And, and, and as I think about this, I think of our core value of Bible fluency. And um, this morning, um, I read in our Bible fluency plan, which is actually five chapters that they recommended. Um, and I read all of that and it took 26 minutes. I'm not a reader. I, I'm not a good reader. Uh, I get easily distracted. And this was while my daughter was eating Cheerios beside me and, and, and my son was up as well. And Ava sat there and she said, daddy Bible. And, and, and that just blessed me because um, I, I want to have a regular habit of reading God's word in my own personal life, but I also want to have a regular habit of reading it where my kids can see me um, and where uh, if you don't have kids yet, you know, with your friends. And, and so you want to read the Bible in community with people um, because it's encouraging. But all that to say with, with Joshua and with Colossians, so don't let the word of the law depart from your mouth. Uh, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. It just made me think of the need for daily Bible reading. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I do not read my Bible every day. I, I miss it. Sometimes I sleep in. Sometimes I choose to play video games or watch Netflix over reading the Bible. Okay, I, I'm going to admit in transparency that I don't do this perfectly. But it took... Oh, sorry. Getting a phone call here. Um, <laughs> some more transparency for you. Really what I just wanted to share today is that you have time to read the scriptures. If you truly believe that you don't have time in your day to study God's word, then you really need to do an inventory on what you got going on. Because God never gave you so much responsibility in your life that you can't seek him and get to know him better through reading his word. Like I said, five chapters took me 26 minutes and I'm not a good reader. Um, the way our Bible plan works is, is it presents to you four or five chapters. And so there's four different books of the Bible that we're going to be reading in at any given day. And, and we're working through those systematically. So we just finished Exodus. Uh, we also just finished the book of Philippians. And so there's always a new book for you to join in with us at. And, and what my encouragement to you would be is whether it's one chapter, whether it's all four or five that it recommends, read God's word. You can afford the extra time and you must afford the extra time uh, for we cannot let this book of the law depart from our mouths. We must meditate on it day and night. And we must let the word of Christ dwell in us richly. And so I hope that you're doing well during this time. I hope that these midday devotions are spurring you along um, in your faith. And so my encouragement today is none of us are perfect. We're all going to get it messed up. We're never going to perfectly study the Bible. But we can constantly be progressing in how we study scripture and know God through his word. So church, seek the Lord, read his word, and be faithful to develop that discipline. I love you, and I will talk to you soon.